the date can you tell me yes it is heart heart human heart human heart is one of the most important organ in our life that is responsible for sustaining life that is know very well so today we are going to discuss about human heart its location size shape structure and the working mechanism of heart okay so first one now the question is what is heart heart it is an important organ it is an important organ responsible for sustaining life heart it is a part of our body which pumps blood to the all parts of our body through a network of tubes they are called blood vessels and it acts like a pumping machine here you can see this ball it is like a pumping machine so like that heart also acts like a pumping machine throughout our life it works like a pumping machine non stop throughout our life next what is the location and size and shape of the heart location of the heart our heart is located in the chest cavity and it is located slightly towards the left side here you can see and it lies between the two lungs just above the diaphragm next is about the size size of the what is the size of the heart our heart is it is the size it has the size about like can you see it is the size has size about a clenched fist so it is about 12 cm in length 8 cm wide and 6 cm in thickness so an adult heart has a mass of about 250 to 350 grams and next is what is the shape of this heart the shape of this heart it is cone shape with its base position with its base position upwards and tapering down to the apex next can you tell me what is the structure of the heart so to tell the structure of the heart heart it is highly highly muscular structure it is hollow highly muscular structure which is made of one kind of special muscle that is known as cardiac muscle and heart has two sets of pumping chambers lying side by side here you can see the picture so it has two sets of pumping chambers lying side by side heart has four compartments and this four compartments are called chamber this four compartments are called chamber so the upper two chambers of the heart are called atria atria and in singular it is called atrium and the lower two chambers of the heart they are called ventricles okay so it means on the right side of the heart there are right atrium and right ventricle and on the left side of the heart there are left atrium and left ventricle so atria atria are thin wall okay and receive blood from the all parts of the body and ventricles on the other hand ventricles are thick wall and pump the blood out of the heart here you can see this structure i am dividing it into two parts so the heart the left side of the heart it is it is separated it is completely separated from its right side by means of a partition wall this wall you can see here by means of a partition wall this is the wall by means of a partition wall and this wall is called septum okay so the septum it is it is it is made of thick muscles septum is made of thick muscle and it prevents the mixing of blood mixing of oxygenated blood on its left side with the deoxygenated blood on its right side so it means we can tell that the left side of the heart the left side of the heart it contain or it has oxygen oxygenated blood or oxygen rich blood and on the other hand the right side of the heart it has carbon dioxide rich blood or deoxygenated blood and it is necessary to keep to keep the oxygenated blood separate so that it can carry the oxygen it can carry a good amount of oxygen to the every parts of our 
our body for respiration and release of energy. Moreover, there are valves present in the heart. Valves. What are valves? Valve means these are the door-like structure. Just you think about your house. In our house, various doors are there for going one room to another room. In case of heart also, doors are there and these doors are called valves. Can you see the structure here? And these valves open to let the blood flow into the ventricles and shut as soon as the blood, as soon as the ventricles are filled with blood. And this prevents a backward flow. This prevents a backward flow of blood from ventricles to atria. So it is a function of this valve. Clear? Next, we are going to discuss about the working mechanism of her. Means how does it work? Okay. Purification and for 
is carbon dioxide and absorbs the fresh oxygen from air and it absorbs the fresh oxygen from air during breathing okay so in this way the blood becomes oxygenated again and again from the by the pulmonary vein the oxygenated blood is sent to the left atria or to the left side of the heart for circulation in the human body once again and this process continuously is repeated this process is repeated continuously all day and all night even we are asleep okay so that's all about the working mechanism of heart it is all about the working mechanism of heart is it clear of the heart it is called heart beat it is called heart beat so the contraction phase of the heart is called systole and the relaxation phase of the heart is called diastole we know that so the an, an average heart beat of an adult person during resting state it is about it is about 70 to 72 per minute but the heart beat increases when when a when any person when any person when any person do exercise any kind of physical exercise or when any person gets excited you know that i think you all have seen it what is this you all know and what's the name of it its name is stethoscope and what's the function of it it use doctor it uses by it it is used by doctor why you know it amplifies the sound it amplifies the sound of heart beat so that a doctor can can hear the heart beat clearly you can see here the structure of the stethoscope it consists of three parts so first part that is this part it is called chest piece and it transmit or it amplifies it amplifies the sound next one that is Here you can see, I am keeping this both two parts in the ear. So these are ear pieces. These two are ear pieces. Okay, and it is put by the doctor by his ears, and it is it consists of metal tube. And here last one that is you can see here rubber tube, flexible rubber tube. And what's the function of it? It transmits. At first it joins these two parts, ear piece. and chest piece and for the function of it another function that is it transmits the sound sound of heart beat from chest piece to the ear pieces so i think it is clear for you all so 